in this video how to use Zoom screen share with computer audio sound the good and the bad and I'll tell you exactly what's going on here we all open a Zoom meeting and the chances are you want to screen share something to your audience now click green share screen and at the bottom of each window is share computer sound and this is why it's called the good and the bad so what happens to repeat is you go to share screen you've got the first white window with a ton of different things like on mine I've got screen one screen two whiteboard um, the applications that are open and I've clicked share computer sound there is an advanced tab again if you're busy you probably never look at it if you go there little did I know you can actually do a portion of your screen but the second one over in blue is you can choose to share only your music or computer sound only and of course there's a second camera over there then we go on and we say to ourselves what is the good and the bad now look I've been using zoom since 2013 tons has changed but I test these things and there'll be a demo in a second or two so the good things we are already sending our microphone out to our audience and bear in mind you as the presenter may be sending your microphone to a hundred or so people or even publicly on the web number two is you are then sending your computer audio now that's a really good thing however if you've skipped ahead the bad things or the not so great things are there is no possible sound mixing and what that actually means that if I was using OBS as an example or video editing then I would have complete control with sliders on my desktop audio and my microphones and maybe sound effects or music and all sorts of things I don't think you can actually do that in this zoom meeting so there's no possible sound mixing which means that the computer audio is sent at a hundred percent all the time irrespective of tapping up and down on your volume it makes no difference so in other words if you think you're turning your volume down to zero or off or lower although in your own headset as the speaker that's happening to the actual audience nothing zip no difference at all they are getting full volume so therefore speaking over your computer audio will leave your voice unheard so don't do it and I will tell exactly what's going on here in that demo in a second the last thing is use your player volumes where possible so if you are showing an audio clip or a video clip in it if you have got a player on screen with say Windows Media Player or YouTube or with this one with Google Photos if you dial down that volume to a much lower that will affect the zoom call and therefore do a kind of like a mix confusing I betcha so that is that on the good and the bad demo is next and what I'm going to do as an example because I've tried to test this to get to the bottom of it is in orange is the test video and I put a couple of things on there which will be um, as uh, what are those things called text labels so let me bring in the um, he says audio das or, or audacity now here is a musical thing and what I've done I'll show you what I mean and this is how I test it I start off listen to recording starts then I go to share screen share computer or you see that's really terrible isn't it and then I start to play PC audio Watch. Right, so I do that. Now, this place where it says voice heard, what I'm doing is I'm playing this piece of music and then speaking over it to see, quite honestly, what happens. You listen to this. So what's actually happening, believe it, as I'm speaking this, so listen to this bit very, very carefully, and you actually see my voice being heard. Five, five, stop. Yeah, you see what I mean is the music is far bigger than your voice. What a waste of time to your audience. The next thing is voice heard. Listen to this again. You see, that's impossible. If you went out to your audience and you tried to speak over saying, oh, what do you think about this piece of music? You know, even in your headset, it might be down. The audience are getting it full blast. Now, this one is 
where I'm changing my PC volume from zero to a hundred percent and it and it really makes no difference. You listen. Obviously I'm not going to play the whole thing because you can see on the waveform that absolutely nothing happens. So although I'm sending my volume in my headset down to zero, the audience still get a hundred. And then, you know, feedback to Zoom here is I've put a note saying my microphone has stopped working. So what I did here is I stopped the music, started to talk and you can clearly hear silence isn't it because it's just packed up so what i suggest you do is always keep checking your your microphone to see if zoom hasn't you know created a bit of a bug with it or something and finally fade out yeah sure so so what happens is if we go back to i think it's this one isn't it? yeah so that was the little demo to try and see what is going on. Yeah, that's right. So that was how to use Zoom screen share with computer audio sound. A bit of good and a bit of um, just be careful about it. And I next one, a possible next video here is I've just noticed in your Zoom settings that recording you can record a separate audio file for each participant who speaks. That is so useful and I didn't know it was there. So in the next video, I'm going to test this out. So if you've got a really quiet, soft, whispery person or a really loud person who likes the sound of their own voice, then what happens is you've got a audio file, which is a nightmare to edit later on. If you separate those out, you can take the very um, loud sort of person and make them a lot quieter and the one who whispers like this you can bring their their volumes up and obviously mix, uh, mix it post edit that was me mike downs with another video in this weird time of working from home and remotely goodbye